Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, and welcome to a very special edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up. Today, I'm joined by Joe Ranieri of SportsGrid as he takes a look at some betting 101 tips that'll help you become a better wagerer. Joe, how are you, sir? I'm, do I'm excited. It's a good time of year. It's a fun time of year right now. Absolutely. So much going on. So much money for you to win as long as you're smart about it. So let's take a look at just exactly how you place a bet. We'll begin with placing a bet against the spread. What does that mean? So a spread bet is just simply a bet against the margin of victory. That's really what a spread bet is. For instance, if you had, oh, I don't know, the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the San Francisco 49ers and they were a three-point favorite, then as long as they won by more than three points, that being the Kansas City Chiefs, that's a winning bet. Or the San Francisco Giants, uh, San Francisco 49ers rather, not losing by at least three or more points, well, that would be a winning bet as well. So you're basically betting simply on the margin of victory. If it happens to tie, and let's say they win by just three, that's what's called a push, and that means there's no action, and your ticket will be refunded. That's how you bet against the spread, and that's how you'll make some money. Up next, Joe, what is the difference between a bet against the spread and a bet on the money line? So betting on money line is, is the most common way to bet, certainly on, let's say, baseball and the NHL, where the, the margin of victory does not necessarily, spreads don't come into play nearly as much. You are simply betting on who you think is going to win the game. And the bigger the favorite, the more money it's going to cost you to back that favorite. And of course, the underdogs, we all know, in sports betting, especially if you're new, if, uh, if a team is an underdog, chances are there's a little bit more money to be made if they win. So a money line bet is simply betting on who's going to win straight up. On the money line, all you got to do is pick the winner straight up, and you'll be a winner. All right, Joe, up next for us, we have an over or under. We see a game total, but what does over under mean? Basically the same thing. The total or over under, like you said, Greg, is simply how many runs or points are going to be scored combined in the contest. So in football, how many points are the Giants going to score? How many points are the Redskins going to score? Is it going to be over whatever that point total is, or is it going to be under what that point total is? So when it comes to totals and over-unders, you're simply trying to figure out that number of the amount of points or goals or runs or whatever it is, how many are going to be scored and whether you think there's going to be more or less than that. You're given a total. Do you believe the total will be higher or lower? That's how you bet on an over-under in today's market. Joe, what is a straight bet? Straight bets, uh, you, you see these a lot when it comes to prop bets or proposition bets where you are betting something outside of the, like we just said, the spread, the side, the total. You're betting something else. Like, for instance, how many yards will Patrick Mahomes throw for? Will it be over 300 yards or under 300 yards? Uh, how many rushing yards will somebody have? How many points will an NBA player score? All of these types of things are very straightforward bets that have to do with that individual player or that individual team that's outside of a side or a total. So no winner or loser in these bets. Straight bets when it comes to proposition bets, that's simply on making the right play for that particular prop bet. Just helps you out making a prop bet, understanding what you have to wager in order to win money. That is a straight bet. Now, if you combine all of these bets, you get what's called a parlay. Why don't you explain that here, Joe? So parlays allow you to combine multiple wagers into one bet. Now, these are often much better odds if you, if you hit it. So a parlay is like, let's say, for instance, tonight I like the... Brooklyn Nets, I like the Miami Heat, and I like the Lakers. And let's say I want to combine all three of those into a parlay. Well, that will pay seven to one, eight to one, depending on the book. But more importantly, guys, 
each one of those legs has to actually win. So it would be great. There's a lot of money to be had in a parlay if you pick each individual game correctly. You have one loser, then you've got a losing parlay. And you can win more money when you combine multiple games into a parlay and hit them all right rather than betting one uh, each game by themselves. A parlay combines it all and gives you an opportunity to win more money. And then we have what's called a teaser, which is similar to a parlay, but just a little bit different. What's that, Joe? So teaser betting involves two or more different point spreads or total wagers together. So, for instance, again, we'll use the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's say the Kansas City Chiefs were a 10-point favorite uh, going up against the, uh, the San Francisco 49ers. I could, let's say, take a six-point teaser and take that number down from 10 to minus four. And then I can do the same thing for the San Francisco 49ers is take that, uh, that plus 10 and make it a plus 16. So it allows you to go up or down however many points, six-point teasers, seven-point teasers. You take that amount of points and you just add or you subtract it to whatever the total happens to be or the spread happens to be for that game. But much like a parlay, you need every bet to hit in order for you to cash. Bigger payouts, a little more risk. That's right. Bigger payouts here when you combine all of these games, but there is the risk there. And, of course, when you're teasing games up or down, the amount of money you can win changes as well. So Make sure mm -hmm. you understand that when you're placing your bets. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel. Hurry up. We hope you learned a little bit more about wagering and betting, and hopefully you'll win some money soon. Joe Ranieri, thanks so much for joining me. Appreciate it, Greg. Good luck, guys. Tomorrow we'll be joined by Jim Sonis and Davis Maddox as we take a look at the PGA Tour here for this week. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.